Alright, here we have another game of Warfork. Gonna have Apocryphal versus Lugia on WFDM6. Starting off on Lugia. We're gonna be looking around for the items. The items don't spawn until 15 seconds in. So it allows you to get some weapons and sometimes even a kill, if you're lucky. Items coming up now. Lugia gonna grab that first one. Gonna grab this Mega Health. The armor already gone to Apocrypha. So both these players have a little something that they can use. And now Lugia looking around trying to find a little bit more. Gonna get into a fight though. Think this is gonna be the first kill. We'll see. Apocrypha's gonna push out. Lugia gonna get the first kill. Get the first score on the board. And now looking around. Looking if he can find any more items. He's not quite got his full setup yet. Once a railgun did miss that a minute ago. But still hasn't lost this twin this um this mega health, so the respawn won't have started yet. Ten seconds until the mega armor comes up, red. And Apocrypha's gonna tie it up. We'll head over there then. Armor comes up, Apocrypha gets it. Very low, very nice rail for close range. Good bit of damage just there. Gonna want this 50. Oh, that was a nice positioning. Very nice shot there. Gonna push in. Ran out of rail ammo. I don't think there's any rail ammo boxes on this map. At least not that I can think of. So rail ammo is scarce and limited to just the rail, which is in a dangerous position. But it's a powerful weapon to have on this map. It's just down there. We can see it. Pock for going for it right now. This is a slower sort of area of the map. It's quite an interesting map with a lot of faster and slower areas. But if you put two players together in this game, you get a very, very fast moment. As we'll see right now, Lugia trying to escape. Apocrypha looks the wrong way, turns around and gets a beautiful shot down. And now Apocrypha taking the lead 2-1. to one. But seven and a half minutes left in this game. It's a Really early in the game. We're also quite far through for the scoreline to be this small. But these guys are playing quite a defensive game. They're both not pushing themselves too hard. This isn't about the frags. This is about everything around the frags. And the frags come after. These guys, master tacticians of this game. You're spamming down. He's going to have to be careful coming out of here though, Apocrypha. Wait, Lugia killed himself? Okay, Lugia killed himself. What a legend. He's now on zero. Two to zero. Seven minutes left. And a beautiful amount of grenade spam. Completely clears out that room. Goes in and grabs the reward for that kill, actually. So, very nicely done. A little bit of a cock up there. Hitting that wall. Only one rail left. Gonna miss it. Now 17 health. Down to 14. Can't afford to drop Lugia. Going to get a beautiful rocket to finish that off. But very low himself. He's going to need this red. It's coming up in about three seconds. Let's hope he doesn't dodge out of it. Apocrypha has the timing. Manages to get the kill. Manages to get the red. Hasn't got very much ammo though. Hasn't got very much health. Very much not very much health when he's fallen down. Now, just looking for a bit more ammo. A bit more... Something to do with, can't do a lot with one rocket, but at the same time you can do everything with one rocket. And Lugia going to pick up a kill here, head over there, and nice, another kill. Strange that still get the Coyote wins thing, randomly and all. And there we go, Lugia tying it up, wonderful set of frags to tie up this game. And a great shot from Lugia to get the lead. Pock for now. He's just rushing in. He's got to do something about this. But Lugia just has complete control of the map. He's got complete control of the items. He knows when everything is up. He's going to have to head over to this Mega Health. It's going to be up now. Neither player particularly knows when it is, I think. But Apocrypha is more likely to just be sitting on the Mega Health. The mega Armor coming up in six seconds. So Lugia is not going to entirely want to go. Pock for holding off there. Neither player has gone for it. The Mega Health is now up. The Mega Armor is now up. 
Both I both players are going to have to get something. They both get them at the same time. Lugia now with the mega health. A beautiful rocket jump to get a bit more speed to avoid any shots. Fox wasn't there, but well played from Lugia to think of it and to do it. Knowing that he'd got enough health, knowing he'd got enough armor. He's going to have to find some more armor though, because I think Apocrypha has a lot more armor. He's got the best position. Lugia now with two health and 100 armor. There's no point in having so much health, uh, so much armor if you've got no health to back it up. Ooh, that was close. He could have gone down right there. He's going to pick up the mega health though. He's got both items. He's got an 8 to 4 advantage on this map. Right now, he needs to play very carefully. Apocrypha is going to have to look for some little advantages. He's going to have to look for where he needs to be. Luke, you're not quite sure of the time, I don't think, here on that red. He's going to avoid it. Both players getting into a fight. And a beautiful direct rocket. Absolutely stunning to hit that from Lugia. The absolute prediction on the position of his opponent right there. He's got all the weapons he needs. He's got the position that he needs. And now he's got... We've got a dark, a darking bog in the background. Going to grab that mega health. Takes a little bit of damage. Goes for a rocket jump, but not quite the right position to be in. The mega health, mega armor coming up now. Grabs it. Got the red armor control. He's got complete control over this map. Apocrypha doesn't know the timings on anything. He's getting... A, I think they're very, very close in terms of each individual fight. But Apocrypha just cannot get a position on the map. Lugia knows when to avoid the fights. He knows if he pushes it now, he'll be able to push it harder later. Going to grab this red armor. And then he'll head over to the mega health, I think. The red armor's up. He's delayed it a little bit, but Apocrypha doesn't have the time on it anyway, so it's not too much of a problem. But I think he was just waiting around. I think he wanted to take the fight, really. I think he wanted to know if he could take the fight. A beautiful move from Apocrypha. You can, if you stand, go through the teleporter and stand back, you can get a very good position. A beautiful set of grenades there. To finish off Apocrypha. No one's picked up this uh, mega health again though. This is an interesting thing I've noticed quite a lot in this game. People not picking up the mega health. Not checking it quite as much if it's not on the general loop. Unlike CPM, because the timer isn't there, people tend to feel it a bit more. Whereas if you're thinking about the timing of other items, you might forget that you do sometimes need to time that mega health. Oh, he tries with the rail, but he's got no items, and he hits him with the gun blade. Lugia now collecting his items. There's two minutes left. Six to twelve is the scoreline right now. Apocrypha. Going to pick up that mega health. Mega health should be respawning in just 20 seconds from now. Apocrypha definitely below 100 health now. There we go. And Lugia going to pick up the frag. 15 seconds left. Five seconds on the red armor. Lugia are going to be scooping a few little items, just trying to make sure that he's got the right, got the right position. And he's going to be also wanting to scoop up these little items uh, from Apocrypha to stop him from getting them. Because if he's just scooping up reds and not taking any damage, then Apocrypha will be able to climb all the way up to 100 just from a couple of, um, a couple of greens. And that's still a pretty good position. The difference between 100 and 150 is huge in this game. But 100 is still pretty damn good. Lugia not going to self-damage for that yellow, but might use it. Looks like he's going to be using it as a bit of a bait, though, actually. Or at least trying to. Pogfa has the mega health now. And Lugia picked up that red armor. Going to be a very close fight here. Apocrypha quite low. And so is Lugia. They're both going to back out of it. Lugia, I think, pushed there while low. Trying to just really force the issue and really show a bit more strength. Pretend, fake out Apocrypha that he's got more health than he really does. Common tactic. Just fake out your opponent a bit like that. Pretend you've got more health. They think you've picked up an item that you haven't. They don't go for the item that you haven't picked up. And now the Mega Armor. Mega Health. Ten seconds left to go. So Apocrypha's definitely lost this one, unfortunately. 
But it's been a very, very close game. <laughs> and both players have been really good. 13 to 6, Lugia took that one. In what was definitely a pretty close game.